learning objectives after studying this learning module you will be able to to state need for special purpose books to record the transactions in cash book and post them in the ledger prepare the petty cash book to record and post the transactions in the special purpose books and in the ledger to balance various ledger accounts cash book introduction the cash book is a financial journal in which all cash transactions are recorded according to the dates cash book contains cash receipts and payments it also includes bank deposits and withdrawals entries of the cash book are later posted into the general ledger types of cash book single column cash book double column cash book triple column cash book petty cash book maintaining cash book a cash book starts with the cash or bank balances at the beginning of the period it is generally made on a monthly basis it is maintained by all organizations big or small or profit or non profit entries are recorded just like a ledger account with the help of to and by the number of cash transactions in a business is generally large hence it is convenient to have a separate cash book to record such transactions advantages of a cash book recording cash transactions separately is a cash book helps save time and labor in addition it provides following benefits one it helps to ask certain daily cash receipts and payments easily Two, cash book also allows cash in hand to be ascertained easily. Three, at the time of verification of cash, any mistake in the book can be easily detected. Four, cash book helps to detect any defalcation of money while verifying cash. Five, as the cash is verified daily, cash book is always kept up to date. single column cash book explaining single column cash book single column cash book or simple cash book is used to record cash transactions of a business on the left hand side of this cash book all cash receipts are recorded and on the right hand side all cash payments are recorded in a chronological order format of single column cash book The format of a single column cash book includes the following date this column of the cash book is used to record the year month and actual date of each cash transaction this column ensures the chronological record of each transaction of a business involving receipt or payment of cash particulars This column records the account titles to be debited or credited as a result of each cash transaction. Ledger folio. This column includes the page number of each ledger account named in the description. Column of the cash book. Amount. The amount column of this book is used to record the money value of each cash transaction. Posting of single column cash book. 1. the balance bd opening balance and balance cd closing balance of the cash book are not posted two the entries on the debit side or receipt side of the cash book are posted to the credit side of relevant accounts in the ledger three the entries on the credit side or payment side of the cash book are posted to the debit side of relevant accounts in the ledger double column cash book explaining double column cash book two column cash book or double column cash book includes two money columns on both the sides debit and credit these two money columns are cash and bank columns format of double column cash book the format of a double column cash book includes the following date particulars ledger folio cash amount bank amount advantages of double column cash book the following are advantages of a double column cash book 1 
entries made in the column of the double column cash book form a part of double entry system and therefore a separate bank account need not to be opened in the ledger this saves time labor and cost two both cash and bank transactions are recorded in the same book therefore both cash and bank balances are easily available from the same book thus it is said that the double column cash book has two accounts in it the cash account and the bank account recording transactions all cash receipts are to be recorded in cash column on the debit side and cash payments are to be recorded in cash column on credit side of the book in case the cash is received from a debtor or customer and is deposited into the bank account on the same day the entry will be made in the bank column on the debit side need for special purpose books special purpose books are books of original entry that are used to record transactions of similar nature these transactions are recorded in a chronological order these books are also known as subsidiary books these books are the subdivision of journal these are also referred as books of prime entry or books of original entry as all the transactions are recorded in their original form details of the transactions in these books are recorded as they take place from day to day in a classified manner these books are maintained for those transactions that are routine and repetitive in nature types of special or subsidiary books purchases day book used to record all the credit purchases sales day book used to record all the credit sales purchases returns book used to record all goods returned by business to the supplier sales returns book used to record all good returned by the customer to the business cash book used to record all the cash receipts and payments journal proper used to record those transactions for which there is no separate book significance of special purpose books these subsidiary books are maintained because it is difficult to record each transaction into the ledger as it occurs and these books record the details of the transactions and thus help the ledger to become brief future reference and any desired analysis becomes easy as transactions of similar nature are recorded together special purpose books are economical save clerical labor and also facilitate division of labor these books also help in minimizing frauds balancing the cash book introduction the cash book is a type of subsidiary book in which all cash transactions including cash received or cash paid are recorded according to the dates it is a financial journal that contains all the cash receipts and payments that includes bank deposits and withdrawals types of cash book single column cash book double column cash book triple column cash book petty cash book maintaining a cash book a cash book serves the purpose of both a book of original entry and a ledger at the beginning of a period the cash book starts with the cash balance or bank balance it is often made on a monthly basis it is maintained by all organizations that is big or small or profit or non profit understanding the balancing of a cash book on the left hand side of a cash book all cash receipts debits are entered and on the right hand side transactions relating to cash payments credits are entered balancing of the cash book is done in the same way as an account in the ledger a cash book will always have a debit balance as the cash payment can never exceed the cash receipts and the cash in hand balance at the beginning of a period the source document for cash receipts is usually the duplicate copy of the receipt issued by the cashier 
documents like invoice, bill, receipt, etc., on the basis of which payment has been made, serve as a source of document. Petty Cash Book Petty Cash Book is one of the accounting books which is used to record expenses that are small or of little value, for example, daily wages, stamps, postage and handling, stationery, carriage, etc. These petty expenses which are incurred daily or often and are large in quantity but insignificant in value, to record such expenses, a separate book is maintained that is known as Petty Cash Book. Format of Petty Cash Book It contains a number of columns for the amount on the payment side that is credit. Each of the amount columns is allotted for items of specific payments, which are most common. The last amount column is miscellaneous followed by remarks column. Payments for which a separate column does not exist are recorded in miscellaneous column. In the remarks, the nature of payment is recorded. All amount columns are totaled at the end of the period. On the receipt or debit side, there is only one amount column. For both receipts and payments, date, voucher number and particulars columns are common. Maintaining Petty Cash Book Impressed System The Petty Cash Book can be maintained by ordinary or by the impressed system. Under Impressed System of Petty Cash Book, the head cashier assigns a certain or fixed amount of money to the petty cashier in advance for meeting expenditures of a particular period. The petty cashier has to submit a statement of expenditures incurred by him to the head cashier at the end of the period. Petty cashier cannot exceed the amount he receives. Purchase Journal Book The Purchases Journal or the Purchases Day Book is a special journal which is used to record credit purchases. In this journal, the entries are made on the basis of invoice received from the suppliers at the time of purchase of merchandise. It only includes credit purchases from suppliers. Format and Recording Procedure The source documents for recording entries in this book are invoices and bills received by the firm from the suppliers of the goods. The purchase journal has following five columns. 1. The date column is used to record the date of purchase of merchandise. 2. The invoice number column is used to record the invoice number for reference. 3. The name of supplier or accounts credited column is used to record the name of business concern from whom merchandise is purchased on account. 4. The ledger folio column is used to write the account number while posting into the ledger. It indicates that posting has been made. 5. The amount column is used to record the amount of invoice. Posting the Purchases Journal The entries from Purchases Journal are posted to respective accounts with relevant amounts on the credit side. The total of the purchases journal is periodically posted to the debit of the purchases account, normally on the monthly basis. However, if the number of transactions is very large, this total may be done and posted at the some other convenient time, intervals such as daily, weekly or fortnightly. Purchases Return Journal Book Defining Purchases Return Journal Book A book in which good returned to the supplier are recorded is called a Purchases Returns Journal. This book is also referred to as Returns, Outwards and Purchases Returns Day Book. Recording Purchases Return the purpose of maintaining a purchases return book is to mainly record these returns made to the supplier. It is also referred to as returns outwards and purchases returns day book. All the vouchers of the purchases returns are recorded in purchases return day book.
In case cash is received in lieu of material returned, this will be entered in cash book. Format or columns of sales return journal book. The purchase return day book contains the following columns. 1. Date. 2. Debit note. 3. Name of supplier. Account to be debited. 4. Ledger folio. 5. Amount. Issuing a debit note. A debit note is sent to suppliers as an intimation when the goods are returned to them. These debit notes serve as vouchers for these entries. This debit note is a kind of statement sent by a businessman to another person which shows the amount debited to the account of the later. A debit note is often serially numbered and prepared in the same form as an invoice. Posting Entries from the Purchases Return Journal Book The Purchase Returns Book is updated and then subsequently all transactions are entered into it. The total of all items is later transferred to the ledger in an account called as the Purchase Returns Account. The total of the amount column is posted to the general ledger as the end of the month. This is done with the help of the below mentioned journal entry. Creditor account debit to purchase returns account credit. Sales journal book. The sales journal is a special journal that is used to record the revenue generated by the sales of goods or services. It is also referred to as sales book or sales day book. The cash sale record is, however, maintained in the cash receipt journal. Information stored in sales journal The following information is stored in the sales journal for each sale transaction, transaction date, account number, customer name, invoice number, sale amount. This journal only stores receivables and is a summary of the invoices issued to customers. Explanation of columns in the format 1. Date This column records the date on which the sale is made. Generally, it is the same date as written on the invoice. 2. Invoice number The sales invoice number is written in this column. 3. Account debited This column is used to record the name of customers whose individual accounts are maintained in the account's receivable subsidiary ledger. 4. Ledger folio It is used to record the account numbers of individual accounts in the account's receivable subsidiary ledger. 5. Amount This column includes the sale price of merchandise Excluding Sales Tax Posting the Sales Journal The entries from Sales Journal are debited to customers' accounts kept in the ledger. The total of the Sales Journal is periodically credited to Sales Account in the ledger normally on a monthly basis. Sales Return Journal Book The Sales Return Journal Book is a book in which all sales that have been returned to the seller by his customers are recorded by him. The book is also referred to as Return Inwards Book or Sales Returns Day Book. A sales return is merchandise sent back by a buyer to the seller due to one of the following reasons. Excess of quantity shipped, excess of quantity ordered, defective goods received by customer, goods shipped very late, incorrect product specifications, wrong items shipped. Issuing a credit note A credit note is defined as a document that is sent by a seller to a buyer or a vendor to a purchaser notifying that a credit has been made to their account against the goods returned by the buyer. It notifies that the currency value in question is credited to the buyer's account. Format of Sales Return Journal Book The format for a sales return journal book includes 
1. Date 2. Credit note 3. Name of customer account to be credited 4. Ledger folio 5. Amount Posting entries to the sales return journal book Firstly, the sales returns book is updated and subsequently all transactions are entered into it. The total of the items is transferred to ledger in an account called the sales returns account. The total of the amount column is posted to the general ledger on a monthly basis with the help of following journal entry. Sales return account debit to debtor's account credit. Journal proper Journal proper or journal residual Journal proper is one of the important books of original entry. It includes miscellaneous credit transactions which are not recorded in any other book. It is also called journal residual. It is a subsidiary book in which not all but only certain types of transactions are recorded. Its use is restricted in modern accounting. Recording transactions in a journal proper In journal proper book, transactions are recorded by passing journal entries based on the rules of debit and credit. Examples of transactions recorded in journal proper are Transactions that are related to outstanding expenses, reserves and provisions, accrued incomes, interest on capital, drawing of goods and assets by proprietor, loss of goods by some reasons, distribution of goods as free sample and credit purchase and sale of other assets such as land, buildings, machinery and furniture. Types of entries recorded in a journal proper A. Opening entries These are the entries that are needed for opening accounts in the beginning of an accounting year. B. Transfer entries These entries record transfer from one account to another. For example, an asset purchased is wrongly debited to purchases account. Then to rectify the mistake, the following entry will have to be passed. C. Rectification entries. When certain errors are committed in the books, these entries are passed to nullify the effects of errors. D. Adjustment entries. At the end of a financial year, at the time of closing, a few adjustments are made relating to certain items like outstanding expenses, interest on capital, etc. E. Miscellaneous entries. Discount allowed and received, sale or purchase of items on credit other than goods, effects of accidents such as losses and damages due to fire, dishonor and endorsements of bills of exchange. Balancing the accounts What is an account balance? An account balance is the difference between the debits and credits posted to the account during the current accounting or financial period plus the beginning balance. Not all accounts maintain balances from one accounting period to the next. Temporary accounts are closed at the end of each accounting cycle to permanent accounts which carry the balances on to the next accounting period. All accounts have either a debit or credit balance. Understanding the balancing of an account Balancing of an account is to total both debit and credit sides of an account and putting the difference on that side, which is shorter. All ledger accounts are usually closed and balanced at the end of an accounting period. At the end of an accounting period, Generally, at the end of a month or year, it is necessary to find the balance on each ledger account in order that a trial balance can be made as part of the accounting cycle. The process is referred to as balancing of accounts. Steps in balancing of accounts The various steps that are involved in balancing of accounts are given as followed. One. Both the sides of an account are totaled. 
the difference of both the sides is ascertained. If total of debit side exceeds the total of credit side, it is known as debit balance and the difference is inserted on the credit side by writing these words by balance credit or debit or by balance CO or by balance CF in the particulars column. If total of credit side exceeds the total of debit side, it is known as credit balance and the difference is inserted on the debit side by writing the words to balance CD or to balance CO or to balance CF in the particulars column. Summary This chapter describes the special purpose books and their significance in accounting. The chapter gives insight on different types of cash books, Purchases Journal Book, Purchases Return Journal Book, Sales Journal Book, Sales Return Journal Book, Petty Cash Book. The chapter explains the posting of entries to and from these special purpose books. It also briefly explains the method of balancing of cash book and other accounts. In addition, it describes the procedure of recording transactions in the special purpose books.